A good dinner of Shabbos, my dear friends. This week we just celebrated Lag Ba'imer, and we read this Shabbos two portions, Behar and Bechukaisai. And it is Shabbos Chazak because we complete the third book of the Torah. There is a connection between Lag Ba'imer and this week's Torah portion. What do we celebrate in Lag Ba'imer? It is the day that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai passed away. And he instructed us, he asked we should celebrate on this day. And the question is, a day of a passing of a tzaddik is considered a very sad day. It is like the destruction of the temple. In fact, the day that Moses passed away, the seventh day of Adar, some people fast on that day. So why is it that Lag Ba'omer, we celebrate, we rejoice? So there's a story Rabbi Shimon once sent his son, Rabbi Elazar, to two sages to get blessings from them. And he went to them and he came back to his father and he said, Father, you sent me to be blessed, but they cursed me. And he told them a whole bunch of things what they said, you will plant and not cut, you will take out and not get in, not bring in, your house would be a mess. So Rabbi Shimon smiled and he told him, all of the, what they said to you is actually blessings. It is blessings in disguise. Plant and not cut means you will have children and they will not die in your lifetime. Take out and not bring in, meaning that your daughters will be married out and their husbands will live long. They will not have to come back in at home and so on. He explained everything was beautiful blessings. So why was the blessings given in such a way like it sound, sounded like curses? And the answer is because sometimes blessings come from a very high place and in a revealed way, it looks like curses. Only a person like Rabbi Shimon is able to reveal the inner part of the Torah. You see, in this week's Torah portion, talks about a lot of not good things that if the Jewish people will not listen to the ways of Hashem, things will happen, not very unpleasant things. But yet, the Alter Rebbe explains that everything in the Torah is blessings. We have to dig and find the blessings in it. Hashem guides us that we should be able to find it. How do we find the blessings? You see, Moshe Rabbeinu, he is the one who revealed the revealed part of the Torah. So in his day of passings, we see only in the revealed way, and in a revealed way, he's missing. It's a sad day. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai comes and reveals the secret, the mystical part of the Torah. And in the deeper part of the Torah, we find the blessings. And the Rebbe tells us that today, that the teachings of Rabbi Shimon is revealed through the Kabbalah, through the Hasidus, through the Baal Shem Tov, through all the Rebbe's, the more we study the Hasidus, the more we connect with the teachings of Hasidus, we will be able to reveal and to see only the good and the revealed part, the revealed blessings. Happens to be that today also is my Jewish birthday. And as the Rebbe says, on this day is Mazole Gaiver, the Neshama gets stronger. So I want to use this opportunity, being that I'm a Koyan also, so I want to give each and every one of you, Chabad of Sheep Sebei, friends, and Klal Yisrael, Abuch Haskoyanim. May Daber Adinah El Moshe Leimer Daber Larem Ebon of Leimer Koi Sevar Chos Bnei Yisrael Omer Lehem Yevarechecho Adinah Veishmerecho Yoyer Adinah Ipana Veilecho Vechoneko Yisrael Adinah Ipana Veilecho Veyosem Lecho Shalom Asam Rishmi El Bnei Yisrael Vani Yevarechem. You should all have a wonderful Shabbos and all revealed blessings until the blessings of the coming of Mashiach. Have a good Shabbos.